Professor Bert Wolves, sir, do I have your permission to declare the ceremony open? Yes. The ceremony is now open. Professor Bert Wolves, Academic Dean, SBS Swiss Business School. Mrs. Malvika Rai, Chairperson, ILM. Dr. Kakoli Singh, Director, ILM Undergraduate Business School. Mr. Parmeet Singh Su, CEO, Climax Overseas Private Limited and alumni. ILM Undergraduate Business School, batch of 1996-99. Members of ILM Board of Governors, distinguished guests, proud parents, colleagues, and dear graduating students. It is a matter of pleasure and great honor that we have gathered here for the graduation ceremony of the Bachelors of Business Administration Entrepreneurship in collaboration with SBS Swiss Business School. On behalf of ILM Undergraduate Business School, I extend warm greetings and welcome you all to this momentous occasion. Dear young graduates, today is the big day. You are now ready to head out into the world equipped with a set of credentials and an indomitable spirit. You worked hard to get to where you are. You learned how to manage numerous projects and classes. You are about to embark on the next chapter of your life. You and your families should be proud of what you have achieved. Today is also the day you get to update your photos on social media and update your LinkedIn profile. There are a number of different routes to take now, like starting your own entrepreneurship venture, furthering your family business, or pursuing higher education. Please do keep coming back to your alma mater and share your success stories with us. Congratulations once again. And now, let me welcome and introduce to you Professor Bert Wolves, Academic Dean, SPS Swiss Business School. Professor Wolves is a Harvard Graduate School of Education, a founding member of SPS Swiss Business School, and also holds the position of the DBA program manager at the institution. Dr. Wolves is also a lecturer on SPS educational program with a special interest in entrepreneurship and e-commerce. Dr. Wolves holds the Albert Einstein Peace Award from IAEWP. Furthermore, he's a certified lecturer of Swiss Vocational Education Training, VET students. Professor Wolves, sir, your presence today is a source of inspiration to our students and to all of us. And I now, uh, uh, today we are honored to have the alumni of our batch of 1996-99, Mr. Parmeet Singh Su. Uh, we welcome him to the convocation. I now request Dr. Shivani Kurana to please introduce Mr. Su. Thank you, Dr. Gurpreet. It's a proud moment to welcome and introduce our guest speaker, Parmeet Singh Su, on this auspicious occasion. Parmeet is IILM alumni from the first batch and completed his undergraduation in 1999. Being a student of business management at IILM and since his college days, Parmeet used to showcase extraordinary business skills, was a keen observer and actively participated in class discussions with faculty as well as discussions with industry experts. Currently, Parmeet is heading the CMX group which has diversified businesses in the field of automotive and railway components, food contact materials, trading and distribution, merchant exports, as well as business consulting. 
In his career of 22 years, he has grown his small family business 120 times. Apart from managing this diversified group, Parmeet has given employment to more than 500 people globally and is now living his mission. And I'm very happy to share that his mission is very well aligned with today's requirement of our country. And he wants to inspire and educate small and medium businesses to scale up so that they can be the torchbearers of employment generation in our country. He has been speaking and training at various platforms such as CII, ACMA, TSCC, MIWA, to name a few. It's very interesting to know the other side of Parmeet. He is an author too and has captured his skills and thoughts in his books for generations to come. He has already authored multiple books like Struggles to Success, Blood, Heart and Soul, The Heart of Science of Leadership, The Heart and Science of Negotiation, etc. Now his introduction will be incomplete without mentioning his contribution to his alma mater. Parmeet is very well connected with his institute as well as with his batchmates from 1999. He's very particular in providing opportunities to IILM undergraduate students and uh, contribute in their learning businesses and entrepreneurial skills through active mentoring, arranging company visits, followed by discussion with senior managers and taking part in model plan discussions. ILM is really proud of you, Pameet, and we welcome Pameet Singh Sood to share his learning with us. Thank you so much, uh, Shwani ma'am. I apologize, there was some system glitch and because of which I could not join in time. I hope uh, my voice is clear. I'm still struggling with uh, balancing uh, the iPad on which I'm trying to take this meeting as my system is still not working. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great pleasure to always come back uh, to uh, IALM and, and address uh, the current students. I have done that on a few occasions in the past. I uh, thank uh, uh, Dr. Shivani Khurana, Malika Ma'am, and everybody else who's given me the opportunity to come and interact with all of you guys. Um, it seems like yesterday, but yeah, it's been uh, almost 22 years now that I have passed out of ILM. And at that point in time, um, the degree uh, course uh, being offered was the University of Bradford, UK. And I still proudly uh, have this certificate in my office, which shows that I uh, graduated from the University of Bradford, UK, studied at ILM. And... Uh, it's, it's, it's been 22 years, but it, uh, the, the memories are ever so fresh. And I'm sure as students, uh, you would have a, also had a great learning experience. And other than that, also a great time uh, with the, the, the infrastructure, the facilities, the teachers, and the warmth, uh, which I believe ILM provides. And whatever I've heard from many different batches and a lot of people I know from my batch, juniors, uh, people passing out in the last few years, uh, a lot of people who I re still recommend going to ILM, they've all had uh, good memories to share and good things to share. As you graduate today, um, uh, there is going to be a whole new world awaiting there for you. Let me take you back uh, from, the, from the time that I joined ILM. Uh, that was the year 1996. And we were the first batch of uh, what was called the BBMS program, Bachelors in Management Studies. Uh, and there, the infrastructure was very different, you know, as, as the initial batch. Uh, we used to fight with uh, Malvika ma'am about uh, the infrastructures, the glitches. Uh, our director was Dr. Kamlesh Mishra. Our dean, uh, uh, early he was the dean, and then, then Dr. Rizvi became the dean. All these names, uh, uh, barring, barring Dr. Uh, Malvika, uh, Ms. Malvika Rai being the permanent feature, you would not even know. But uh, those were the days when we used to fight about, uh, or let's say we used to strike about, even the fact that the air conditioning is not working well, you know. Uh, those are the days when we used to strike about uh, the canteen not serving good food. But those are memories today edged into uh, our way of being that we fought for those smaller things in life, which were very important at that time. And we saw uh, the leaps and bounds growth that ILM has gone through over the last 20, 25 years that I have uh, I, 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 uh, started at ILM and uh, now have been in business. So uh, my journey was very, very interesting. For me, ILM was uh, a playing ground, given the fact that uh, I come from uh, Army Public School, Dholakwa. I was a very different guy than what I 
chose to become or what i am made of me i was very shy when i entered ilm i was a guy who was not uh, i was very introvert i was not at all outspoken and those are things which i did not like about myself so there was a conscious decision on my part that i would like to change all of this and ilm gave me the opportunity to be able to do so so from being shy timid in, introvert and being so scared to being on stage and at ilm becoming the master of ceremonies for anything and everything that happened that was an immense a massive transformation i don't know uh, whether uh, malvika ma'am i believe is attending as well she also uh, knows that before being at ilm i had no experience on being on stage whereas when i was at ilm for 3 years i was master of ceremonies in the four day college festival uh, we did uh, uh, something called peace 98 we did small events and i was a permanent feature as the mc that gave me humongous amount of confidence and people used to tell me that i am built for being on stage or built for being a public speaker whereas inside of me i knew that it is something which i've just transformed and i've gotten the opportunity to transform so that was one great experience we did a lot of new things lot of first being the first batch we started the college festival i do not know uh, how much of that is continuing today we started uh, uh, the college magazine we named it ethena uh, we uh, we started something a uh, parent teacher uh, interaction and an award uh, awards night we called it peace uh, all of those were initiatives of the 90s i'm sure you guys have done much better from those and i involved myself into doing anything and everything which happened in college whether it was studies which i Uh, did reasonably well in and or it was all the extracurricular activities i was the event management uh, council president i was the cultural council president so anything and everything i got an opportunity to put my hands into and all of that experience all of that experience starting from uh, make uh, doing a strike for air conditioners to walking into uh, malvika ma'am's room i i was one of those few students i believe malvika ma'am who troubled you for small small reasons i would walk into the chairperson's room that the kind of access i created for myself and i used to walk into her room bringing up petty issues but if i look back at those times and those days today that all those experiences combined made me more confident made me a leader gave me tremendous platform to build on i became a uh, i i became uh, more more confident about public speaking to the time to the tune that i have you know gone to some of the best stages in the world including what uh, is called the national achievers conference which happens in 70 countries and brian tracy's of the world and anthony robbins and donald trumps and richard branson's of the world are people who are who have spoken on those stages and i have been part of that all of that and 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 and, and and making my presence felt uh, all of that came from my 3 years at ilm so in those times we were doing it uh, for fun okay i was doing it consciously for some of my transformation which as, as as i said in the beginning things which i did not like i i tried to transform myself and i got that opportunity at ilm but looking back at those 3 years of ilm and the 20 years 22 years that have been uh, in the professional field i believe all those qualities i inculcated i laid the foundations of are what has built over the years towards my success so the reason i'm sharing this with you is that reflect upon those 3 years of fun and joy and creation that you have done or have not done maybe and take those learnings along with your studies the curriculum which i'm sure uh, was great and a lot of information and a lot of knowledge has been acquired but take these learnings take these soft skills so to say take all of this with you and built on that built on these foundations because the world out there is going to be different from what has been so far a student life i i do not know what what future holds for you some of you might be continuing with your studies and going for higher education some of you might get into uh, professional jobs etc or some of you might go into your own family business or, or start something of your own 
take these learnings with you is what i would like to say and one thing that i would like for all of you to remember and one thing which has contributed greatly towards my success and i've said this plenty times at plenty platforms is that be in the zeal of being a life long learner that's the only way to do it a lot of you might be feeling today after having graduated and this being your convocation ceremony that hey now studies are behind us now you know learning is behind us you would be completely wrong if you look at life like that my invitation to you is be a lifelong learner learning does not necessarily has to come from active participation in a classroom yes that's one way of learning there are plenty other direct and indirect forms of learning that you must 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 make a part of your life learning from reading books learning from watching the right documentaries on youtube reading autobiographies of successful people and any and every of that content which can contribute towards your success look at consuming that instead of what goes on on instagram and facebook and those reels which keep you engaged all day long if you can spend that time into constructive learning that is what is going to be the strongest pillar of your success i have always said learning is the biggest key for me to be successful and to to all to 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 all the people who i know who are successful then learning from mentors that's something that's another thing which i have always and always focused on your mentors your teachers today have brought you thus far keep them with you make and create more mentors as you go on i always say that i'm an arjun to a few mentors who are directly mentoring me even today but i am also an eklavya to people who don't even know that i am getting mentored by them by their actions attending their speeches uh, seeing them participate in conferences reading their articles listening to their interviews and so on and so forth so be an arjun be an eklavya but keep at being a lifelong learner i believe uh, that's all i want to say and that's all i want to put forth right now feel free to connect it's always great to connect with the alumni i am available on linkedin my name uh, you've already gotten parmeet singh sood so feel free to connect and let's create some big success in the world let's go out there and make our presence felt as ilmites uh, when i use the word ilmite i want to show you something which we created in in those times this was a student of the year award so malvika ma'am if i believe you remember this this is the first time ever ilm did something like that present student of the year and i was the first recipient so i still proudly have this in my office so ilmites let's create a big difference in the world and let's create some big success stories wishing you all the best for your life wishing you all the best for your future have a great life ahead thank you so much for having me here uh, everybody who's thought about having me uh, talk uh, thank you for 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 considering that it's an honor and it's a privilege to be talking to you all all today thank you so much thank you mr sood for your inspiring address uh, i now request dr kakoli sen director undergraduate business school to kindly deliver the inaugural address sure thank you dr gurpreet uh, parmeet sir i must say your speech was so inspirational and you know we felt so proud of our own selves that we must be doing something great to carve the now you out of the old you so and all these nuggets of learning that you shared that keep reading keep uh, learning and uh, keep coming back to your alma mater those are real gold i must say and i hope our uh, graduates are making note of it and uh, they are also feeling as proud of themselves as we all are always and uh, thank you so much for me uh, for coming back to us regularly and adding more value to us thank you once again thanks for joining today absolutely my pleasure so, thank you thank you thank you professor bert bulls academic dean sbs swiss business school mrs malvika rai chairperson iilm parmeet sood 
members of ILM Board of Governors, distinguished guests, proud parents, colleagues, and my dear graduating students. On behalf of the ILM fraternity, I extend a very warm welcome to each one of you on the annual convocation for the class of 2021. Students, this is the day which you have, for which you have worked for and waited for for three years. This is a golden day of your life, one that you will always cherish. And we are all here to celebrate your successful journey with us. With every graduation, a new batch of confident young men and women from IILM Undergraduate Business School join the world of business and make a difference in their own unique manner. We are proud of each one of you. I represent all your teachers, mentors, program officers, admission managers who congratulate you and wish you well for your future. May you all follow your passion and lead a fulfilling life. 2020 has been a tough year for all and 2021 is the year of hope and restoration. As the businesses evolve and the economies heal, this is also the time to try out new things, to think out of the box and step out of one's comfort zone. We have to keep learning from the external environment and adapt to our requirements. Going forward, while technology will be a key player and a leveler, humanity must go hand in hand. We have to ensure that the world becomes a better place to live. As we use more and more of artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day lives, we have to level up on our emotional intelligence too. The new education policy of India has charted a new path for young boys and girls, one that will change what they learn and how they learn. In keeping with the new national education policy, the ILM University has also created multiple pathways for students who wish to learn at their own pace. We shall also be offering the four-year undergraduate degree from 2022. The four-year undergraduate degree introduced in the education policy will allow us to provide a world-class learning experience to our students. With a flexible approach envisioned in the policy, students will be able to experience the full value of a truly liberal education while having the freedom to decide their majors. And I must say, with our focus on liberal arts, we've also adopted the concept of purposeful work from Bates College, USA. This focuses on connecting what students learn in liberal arts to jobs, work, and beyond, aligning who you are with what you do. Through purposeful work, students learn how to ask those big questions. Who am I really? What am I good at? What kind of work do I want to do? What can I contribute to the world? And they learn how to recognize the answers to those questions as they take shape in their lives. Inspired by this philosophy, our students will graduate equipped to make intentional decisions about their work, their own selves, and how the two relate. The more students are able to match their work with their authentic interests and talents, the less work feels like work, and the more simply it feels like a natural part of a satisfying and a meaningful life. And now to today's event. 60 students of the UG class of 2021 are being conferred their degrees in management. Each of you has a specific dream, and we are happy to share some of the student dreams and their onward journey. Brinda has chosen to study at IE Business School in Madrid. Nishche has been selected at the Babson College. Sakshi and Siddharth have chosen to do their masters from Regents College, London. Shivani will be moving to University of Westminster and Vedant to Fordham University for their higher education. And Shivam Chavla is already studying PGDM with ILM. We are so happy for all of you. May you achieve great success in life. Several of our students have worked for the social cause during the pandemic peak or set up their own enterprise. Tanuj and Ishan founded a startup by the name of Cotton India. They made and sold masks during pandemic and the collection was used towards the rehabilitation of migrant workers. Sakshi did a fundraiser by the name of Cope with COVID with a baking workshop. She also extended her family business of rice production by starting her own brand of rice named Eleven. Kartike and Shivani co-founded Sneaky Feet during the COVID period. Sneaky Feet's Instagram page has about 830 plus followers and is growing daily. 
Chahat founded a high street clothing brand called Glitch. Vanshika started her own diet consultancy by the name of Level Up with Vanshika, and the list goes on. These are just some of the examples. We are proud of each one of you. You have spent three important years of your life at ILM learning the ropes of business, and you will excel in whatever you choose to do. We cherish and celebrate each of your achievements. Dear students, our relationship with you is forever. Today, as you move on from being our dear students, you become our cherished alumni. You are always welcome at ILM. Please keep coming back and giving feedback to make your alma mater even better. On this happy day, I would like to thank and congratulate all the families and friends in the audience. I thank all the staff members who worked throughout the years to help us reach here today. I also thank the faculty who treated each one of you as their own and guided you throughout, not just as teachers, but also as mentors and friends. Dear students, today as you transition from the role of a student to alumni, I hope that you will remain connected with us and inspire your junior batches in their journey. Congratulations again to each one of you graduating today. We wish you success as you embark on your career path. We also wish you strength when you face challenges. My best wishes and prayers for your success in life. Thank you. I now invite Professor Bert Woods, Academic Dean, SPS Swiss Business School, to address the students and all of us. Thank you. Dear Mrs. Ray, dear Mr. Ray, dear Dr. Sen, dear members of the supervisory board, dear faculty members, and most important, dear students, dear graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You made it. On this important day of achievement, I extend my best wishes to this fine graduating class. You are graduating in very challenging times, and you are graduating from a first-class business school. I sincerely hope that all of you are setting out the high road of achievement, success, and service to others. So, on this day of celebration, I urge you to recognize the deep pride that your parents and other family members and friends feel for you. Please thank your parents for their support and encouragement in helping you to reach this day. And thank them for the time and their strong arms while you were studying. And yes, sometimes when it was difficult, you really needed their arms and full support. In my brief remarks today, I take as my team this very simple statement that your time is your life. So I want you to start thinking about the time you spent at SBS Swiss Business School, IILM, and that your time after you're leaving this institution with your degree in your hands. Your time here has changed you, I'm sure about that, and it was confirmed by the alumni before. When you came to SBS, you became part of an educational community. You also became master of your own time. You were given the freedom to spend your own time scratching your mind, stretching your mind, and lifting your horizons. And on more than one occasion, you probably lost all your sense of time when you stayed up late at night in order to still find a solution to these questions for this assignment, and oh yes, this paper needs to be completed by tomorrow, but I don't even know what to write now, a couple of hours before it is due. But I'm sure you also did more than this. You formed friendships that will last a lifetime. At this very moment, many of you are sitting with your friends and best friends, who are, which you have made during your classes best friends which will remain best friends forever. Just look around you. Many of you also used your time to learn about the civic business of the city and the country. Internships gave you very practical hands-on experience that probably 
has influenced your decisions and your future. Now it is time to go forward in your life. I suspect that you probably hard pressed to do all the things that you want to do. This is why we hear every new discovery that allows us to save time. We eat fast food, speed dial our friends, and now understand that we even have something called speed dating. But I worry that in this time crunch of modern living, we are missing some things that are very important. We are losing our connections to our friends. Remember the lockdown of COVID-19? Our sense of family and community, our own sense of humanity. We need to busy, we are too busy to call our friends back. We don't have time to sit down for dinner with the rest of the family. We convince ourselves that there is always something next to be done. We are so busy trying to do everything that at the end of the day, we don't even listen properly anymore. My point here is really very simple. As you shape your new lives, take out time to reflect on what is truly important for you. The answer may surprise you. You may discover that time with good friends, aging parents, or someone who is struggling by far more by by variable in order to keep us here up to date with the society. So spend time on listening, caring, and lifting someone's spirit may be the most important gift you can give to others. I also ask you to use your time in another way. Fill up the public space of our society with your good ideas, your strong energy, and your talents. We live again in challenging times. These are not the moments to be relegated to scrapbooks of your SBS days past. They are valuable endeavors you may choose for this new normal. We need to create a future that is less about borders and more about learning together. A future that is less about ethnicity and more about excellence of your mind. And a future that is less about intolerance and more about inclusiveness and understanding. Please remember that the freedom to learn, the freedom of religion, the freedom to live in a civil society, even the freedom to be respected as an individual, these are basic human rights that are still questioned in some parts of this world. Those of us who have been well educated and cherish freedom have the serious obligation to speak up for those who can't. So I encourage each and every one to use your time wisely. Your time is your life. Please don't waste your time on acrimony or division. Spend much of your precious time with your family and your friends. Use your time to educate yourself to be, remain a lifelong learner, as it was said before. And please use your time in a positive way, reaching for happiness and joy in your new life. My time is up now. Again, congratulations to the class. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Professor Woods, sir, I present to you candidates from the IILM Undergraduate Business School to be admitted to the degree of Bachelors of Business Administration in Entrepreneurship. Ayushman Gupta. Abdullah Siraj. Eshware Aroda. Eshwarya Garg. Akshat. Amal A.S. Ansh Medha.
अर्चित गुप्ता अर्चित जैन चाहत चावला चैतन्य मैंगी एकस कोली गर्व खन्ना गौरव मोहन सिंघल हर रौनक सिंह साथी हार्दिक अग्रवाल हिमांशु गुप्ता ईशान चंद्रा जयवीर सिंह भाटिया कबीर चावला करीना लालवानी कार्तिके चतुर्वेदी मिरन सचदेवा मितुल पावा नकुल बजाज नमन जैन निश्चय यादव प्रत्युष मुरारका पुलकित पहुजा पुरंजय शर्मा राहुल अग्रवाल राहुल गुप्ता राहुल यादव रूहानी कश्यप सक्षम डागर साक्षी मित्तल समर्थ चोपड़ा सानिध्य आशीष गर्ग संजना सबलानी शिवम भल्ला शिवम गुप्ता शिवानी सोनी शिवांश गुप्ता शिविन आनंद
शुभम चावला सिद्धार्थ जैन सिद्धार्थ सिंगला शुशांक अग्रवाल तनुज खत्री तारिणी अरोड़ा तुषार ग्रोवर वंश सेठी वंशिका आनंद वरुण जुनेजा वासु मलिक वेदांत पोदार वृंदा गोयल युवराज गोयंका जीशान खान Congratulations to the class of 2021 Congratulations to all uh, Professor Wolf sir may I now request you to award the degree of bachelor's of business administration in entrepreneurship to all the graduates who are present here by the virtue of the authority vested in me I award the degree of bachelor of business administration with a major in entrepreneurship to all the students who fulfill the requirements of the program and are present here i pray that forever in your life and conversations you prove worthy of the same professor wolves Now I wish to announce the recipients of the best thesis of the graduating year. There are two contenders for the same. Sir, of the various thesis submitted, the thesis on effectiveness of online marketing in integrated marketing communication submitted and presented by Ms. Ruhani Kar under the guidance of Professor Gurpreet Singh Bhatia has been adjudged the best for the award of the special prize. Rohani a very quiet and sincere student always completing assignments on time and adding value to class discussions Rohani chose a very important topic with the rise in the number of people using the internet and its applications her research work investigates the effectiveness of online marketing communications congratulations to Rohani and the thesis on impact of covid-19 pandemic on digital payments in india submitted and presented by mr amal as under the guidance of professor sadhna gaur has been adjudged the best for the award of the special prize amal again a quiet student but with an analytical mind he took active interest in discussions related to articles and case studies and always had an important observation to make thereby showing his critical bent of mind this topic that he chose for his thesis is very relevant to our current covid situation he researched the impact of covid on digital payments in india the rate of adoption of digital payments has been slow but the pandemic has accelerated it as it has become a necessity he also covered various advantages of switching to digital payment methods congratulations to amal
present graduates who have secured first, second, and positions in the Bachelor of Business Administration in Entrepreneurship Program 2021 and are being awarded the gold, silver, and bronze medal. Dr. Kulvan Price, bronze medal, is awarded to Mr. Amal A.S. Amal, I remember you as a very quiet and observant student in classes. You are an independent thinker, and I recall that as part of a marketing assignment, you, along with your team members, designed a campaign on edible cutlery called EdSpark, an initiative to fight against pollution and promoting environmental conservation. This was the best presentation awarded. Congratulations, Amal. Dr. Kulvan's silver medal is awarded to Mr. Shivam Gupta, Shiv, a student with a creative mind. Shivam always have a different perspective and think out of the box. As a digital marketer, a social media entrepreneur, you transform businesses and work on their brand presence in the much dynamic digital space. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Shivam. Dr. Kulvan Rai, gold medal, is awarded to Mr. Archit Gupta. Archit, I've known you for the last two years now. You're a very rich and attentive student, always prompt in your class missions and assignments. As for Phylum's curriculum, with focus on experiential learning through summer internships, Archit, you interned in your own family business, worked in multiple departments. This experience gave you a multidisciplinary approach which reflects in your class to rebuild. Congratulations, Archit. This concludes the 23rd graduation ceremony of the ILM Undergraduate Business School. Professor Wolfs, do I have your permission to declare the ceremony closed? Yes. The ceremony is closed. I request all to please rise in your seats for the national anthem. <laughs> being part of this uh, convocation and wishing you all the best. Thank you.